Alrighty, alrighty. There. Just a quick transition. Alright, let's get it done. Hey, guy. Kason has got a... Uh, David looks almost as tired as you do. You can tell this case has gotten under his skin, just like it has yours. Any luck in there? We found an exact match for the DNA, but it was linked to a dead shop, chop shop assistant by the name of Silas Forsberg. Now, I have my theories. What do you think is going on here, Mac? Midnight. I'm going to say Silas faked his death. It's a distinct possibility. What was it we saw in the autopsy report? Um, his face was so mangled they had to use dental records. Um... Catch. Matches up with something I've seen runners try. It's easy enough to find a body shop that'll make a replica set of teeth for you. You find some schlub off the street no one will miss, swap teeth, and throw the heat off your trail for a while. Luckily, I've never been that desperate. Why would I need to go to those lengths? Did the police records have something linking him to a different crime? He had a prior for unlicensed plastic surgery, but... True, it wouldn't look good on someone's record if they wanted to become a doctor think that this is beginning to come together. I don't know if I'm right with some of that stuff I said. Are late serious? Belongs to a doctor. Did your homes, employment records, have him as administrator at Mercy Mental. Picture on his files matches the person you saw downtown, the same person the DNA belongs to. All evidence point to him being your killer, whoever he really is. Let's go find this Dr. Holmes and ask him some very pointed questions. Please pay him my respects. I always find that high caliber rounds get the message across. You should clearly hire some friends and get loaded for bear. I have a I lo side loaded a ton of valuable data from those Lone Star Matrix nodes. Here's your cut. Thank you. See you later, buddy. Thanks, Johnny. He's a nice man. He is a nice, nice man. All right. I don't need to hire you. I need to wait, 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 wait. How much money did he give me? Gosh darn it. You'd think I knew how to play video games, but I don't. All right. Is it? Oh, I have 7,000. Man, I could get... Man, I could afford some cool shit. Let's go see if I can. I want to go put more metal plating on me. Give me all of your secrets. Oh, I still can't. Not enough essence. Oh, man. Alrighty. Never mind. Mr. Delilah, hey, you're the guy I need to see about hiring some peeps. But let's do this. I saw I had 20 karma. Let's do that. We're really rolling in it now. Um, increase ranged combat. Increase rifles. Deadeye increases to hit by 20. Nice. Um, maybe, wait, what's my body at? Uh, physical damage. All right, well, what about... Um, what we're looking at melee weapons. I could increase my strength for five in close combat. Yeah, sure. Why not? Overwatch with a with a melee weapon. That seems good. All right. Um, good deal. All right, Mr. Delilah. Um. Before we talk, I, I actually, I just thought about that I haven't increased my equipment or changed anything since I absolutely started this game. So let's see what I've got for... Yeah, I need some new armor, that's what I was just thinking of. Um, Kelly Mage, these are, like I could get, oh, let's do that. All your tools, granted. Um, Yeah, we're doing that. What the hell? Oh, there. Dude! I look awesome. Hold on, check this out. Nice. Alright, I really have to uh, go back to the stash because apparently... When I was equipping my other stuff, I did not equip my rifle. Which is something I sort of need. Yeah. Give me one of those. Give me some frag grenades too while we're at it. I'm not gonna take drugs though. I already have n I already have metal arms. I'm nothing I can inject into. Um, okay. Let me hire a crew. 
Let's see. Oh, Chris Iron Eyes, she seems so cute. That's really insensitive of me, I'm sorry. Um. Alright. Oh, I can take three people now. Um. Hmm. I think I'm gonna take I think I'm gonna take Death's Eye. Just cause he seems like an okay man. And by that I mean I was just looking at his stats. He he kinda seems like an idiot. And then we'll take her. Cause she can do some stuff. Some shit with that. And then I wanna take another. Where's my mage? Gallo Glass, yeah. You're the guy that knows healing and everything, so. We'll take you. Alright, that's not a lot of <sighs> confront Dr. Holmes. This could be the end of the game, guys. I'm not 100% sure. I mean, if we put our cards together right, this could be it, or it could be completely fake. All right. The blood you found at the warehouse belongs to a man masquerading as one Dr. Holmes. You've tracked him to Mercy Mental Hospital, located in the notoriously high or notoriously anti-metahuman farmlands of Sonomish. The drive to the hospital is long and unpleasant, but finally you reach the walled and gated hospital compound. Despite the pretense of security, the gate is unguarded, unlocked, and open. No one stops or greets you as you drive up the large, crumbling building. Gothic ramparts top a damaged roof, cracked walls, and broken windows. All around, the building is, the, is the long gone wild. The only artificial light from within speaks of inhabitants. You walk up to the hospital steps to confront Sam Watts killer and bring him to the end to the Emerald City River. This is it. This is so it. Uh... Maybe I will take those that drugs just in case. You can have some more grenades. You can have a health kit, another health kit. Actually, um all right, we're just we're just going. We're just doing it. Fuck it. Let's rock and roll. All right, guys. This is the end game. It's been a pleasure running with you, and hopefully the game didn't just crash. Nope. All right. Welcome, sir. What brings you to Mercy Metals to a hospital? I'm here to see Dr. Holmes, a new customer. Please wait in the common room and we'll notify the good doctor. That was easy. Um, let's look around a little bit. Please stay within the cafeteria. I don't wanna. I wanna just, let me just look. What do we got over here? Automated medication dispensary. Doesn't recognize you. Nothing happens. Hey Lorraine, what's up? Hey guy, have you seen Josie? I don't think so. I haven't seen him in days. Dr. Philip told me not to worry about it. He says I worry too much. Who am I supposed to play chess with? Dunny over there can't suss more than match four. Josie sounds like quite a guy. What's he look like? He's big and he's got a big gold ring. The doctors let him keep it when he got here. Sometimes he lords it over us. But I'm sure if I had a ring like that, I would do the same. He says he won, won it playing Screamers in the Super Bowl years back. Huh. Urban Brawl, huh? Wow. He's using playing Outrider, though. I don't know how that game works. <laughs> Please help me look for him. I have this key I swiped off the day guard. Keep a close eye on us, but you could have a peek in the infirmary and see if there's a record or something. He might just be in a cool-off room. They won't tell me. No sweat. I could do it. All right, Lorraine. You're just just give me a minute. I'm gonna talk to I'm gonna talk to Donnie over here. Talk stopped. All right. Uh, hey, stranger. We have a new look here. Mike Midnight. Who are you? My name's Donnie. It's my name. D O N N Y. I knew I didn't recognize you. I know everybody in this place. Everybody well. Everybody on the first two floors. How long have you been here, Don? It's Donnie. D O N N Y. Right, sorry, Donnie. Um, I don't know for sure what year is it. I just watched pre-approved video, video disc. Some of the patients have violent reactions seeing the outside world again. Hmm. Donnie's face blanches. I don't really think you want that. Not really. Sounds creepy, son. Around here, you don't want to attract the attention of the doctor. You stay quiet, make life much easier. Okay. Let's go see if we can scoot off to the infirmary really quick before that guy gets here. 
don't notice the troll, the other troll, <laughs> the orc, and the man. Oh, shit. The stench of blood and mold gets ever stronger as you get closer to the infirmary. Oh, God. All right. You find an unlabeled Chidva disc. There's no way of playing the back of the disc at this time. Severed arm lays next to a zipped body bag. Arm looks human, appears neatly severed at the elbow. There's a large gold ring on the index finger. <sighs> Take the ring. Yep, we'll give it to that girl. Surgical tool strewn with gruesome tools. Motorized saws and metal vices. Well, what the fuck did they do to him? Patient, uh, Josea Dawson. That makes sense, Josie. On the cyber terminal. Read his history. Um, retired, no allergies, post-traumatic stress disorder, status deceits, seats, attached notes. Patient had undocumented cyberware in his left arm, has multiple pieces of shrapnel in various locations. Complications would likely arise if transplanted to another host. The rest of the body is in excellent condition and can be used to improve other subjects, as well as fulfill some customer requests. That's not cool. Someone is... They're... Okay. So, so far, what we know about the Ripper is he's been taking, repossessing organs. So I wonder if he has this compulsion to sort of fix things, and then when someone else can be fixed, take them back. I don't, I don't know. It doesn't make much sense. We'll have to see and wait and see. But I'm going to go give this ring down to Lorraine. She deserves to know. Josie's not looking so good. Is he sick? Why won't they let me visit him? should have this. Me and he. Oh, God. Thanks for your help. These have a scratchy PS and blacks through the room. Attention, midnight. Mort to the North Hall to meet with the administrator. Let's go do it. There he is. There's that guy. Yep. Your home is elf standing before you. Maybe possibly the ugliest elf you've ever seen. I remember this description. His meticulously clean lab coat, formal jacket, and old-fashioned bow tie give him the look of an undertaker from centuries past. As you approach the window, he locks eyes with you, smiling an unnerving smile. Good day, can I help you? Um, Dr. Holmes, a.k.a. Silius Forsberg. How about we chat? I'm afraid you're confused. Silius Forsberg was a patient here. He died tragically in a fire. Um... You know, it was a good racket you have going here, but you got sloppy. The only trail I've seen is the one that you've left in your own wake. In fact, I believe the Ripper may be standing right in front of me. Guards. Yeah, guess what, buddy? Shit. We should have played that a little better, but... I'm kind of surprised they let us in here with all of our guns. Hey, big guy. You want a shotgun? ba bam -ba. Sorry, buddy. Doing our job. Gotta do my job, you gotta do yours. Can we end combat? Uh, damn it. Talk to the receptionist. Seems that the good Dr. Holmes is something special for me. I can't play it. Wow. Alright. Good luck in the basement. Gosh darn it. Who is over there? There. Alright, well. Let's go then. Oh, damn it. I'm gonna power bolt this guy. What up? Oh, I should probably unequip a shotgun, just, you know, to not be an idiot. Oh, she's cool. She's got a katana. All right, well, in that case, we're going to charge as far as we can. Okay, I want to see her in action. Let's kill this man. Everybody has the same melee attack. Everybody. Everybody's swinging like Paco. Alright, um... 
There's the basement, it seems. There's a patient. I don't know if we can get over there. Let's just, just, just go see. What? Am I over encumbered or something? Do I only have... Oh, no, I shot. Okay, that's what's up. Alright, is there any way for me to get over there and talk to that guy? There is a locked door. Don't believe I can unlock doors. Oh, here. Nearby intercoms crackles to life. Voice of Dr. Holmes begins to blare from it. Attention all personnel. We have a dangerous patient, patient loose inside the facility. Subject is a male orc, but uh, may be coordinating with other violent offenders. Use all necessary force. You're a piece of shit, doctor. Let's get out of here. Let's go to the basement. Let's go. Uh, yep, confirm. Yep, that's kind of neat. I've never seen that menu before, where you take the guys out one by one here. All right, whatever. Do 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 do. Confirm. All right, the halls of disrepair. As you venture deeper into the asylum, you see that the inside is very. Or is every bit as bad as the outside. Gone is any attempt to uphold sanitary hospital aesthetics. Peeling paint, cracked floors, and exposed conduit, the pre-intensive mental care is shattered. In this modern era, Mercy Mental Hospital is a throwback to the barbaric asylums of old. Prisons and torture chambers, rather than places of healing. It's clear that Dr. Holmes is spending his money on something other than this facility. You continue on. Holmes can only run so far. I hope that's true. I would really like to actually finish this guy and not just uh let him get away like the goddamn joker all right um do 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 shoot you in your butt Man, I'm glad I brought you along. God, yeah. That's awesome. All right. Lady Troll. What can she do with that sword? Slash, thrust. Huh. Okay. Uh, whatever you move to. Now, I don't think there's... I don't know if there's an objective for it. But I really don't want to kill a bunch of patients, so we're just going to run down the hallway. And speaking as soon as you approach. Holmes must be watching from somewhere. You don't understand, do you? This is a place for broken things. But only fur by further breaking them can they be remade. And so we must break you. Whatever, guy. Whatever. not gonna kill the crazy people. My dad has a knife. Jesus fuck, that hurts. God, oh, they all do. Alright, um. You know, it's not very easy to not kill stuff in this game. Jesus. Do we have to? I really don't want to. Um, that door is locked, though. running down the hallway for now. I don't know. She's gonna get boned. I don't know if we have a choice. That's the problem. I really am starting to worry that we don't. Um, shoot. Alright, whatever. I, I gotta do it. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna die otherwise. Yeah, seriously, we're not gonna make it. If we just let these guys beat on us the whole time. Shit! She even has a gun. Alright, um... Violent patient. Sorry, buddy. Seriously, not happy about this at all. No. 
God, how many of these guys are there? I am so sorry. Alright. Alright. I should really keep talking. I'm kind of bitter. I don't want to be killing these patients, but there's not much I can do at this point. That was kind of cool. Alright, um... Where the fuck did that person get a grenade? Holy hell. surgeon well, guess what you are soon to verily be an ex-surgeon and not just in the conventional i'm not a surgeon anymore sense you're gonna be in the i'm dead sense yeah all right um well you shot my troll for six damage Switch to your machine gun. Shoot a couple of times. What's up? There we go. Power bolt. Power bolt. Yeah. Alright. What do we got down here? Surgical card contains it. Geeky. Good. Well, oh, running flesh is immense. The remains appear to me from multiple metahumans. Well, fuck. That is not okay. Alright, well. Then let's head back down the hallway. And knowing this game, we're gonna have to do that thing where we have to move everybody through again. So hopefully it shouldn't be too bad. me that I was a broken thing, but he also said I could remake myself. He wanted to break me down so that I could put myself back together again, and I did, but only after I broke him. Could remake you as well. What a wonderfully twisted thoughts must churn in a mind such as yours, but I'm more inclined to use you for parts. Fucking weirdo. Holy shit. Don't shoot my wizard. Damn, I'll be there in two to four turns, buddy. You just gotta hold on. Uh, I should reload my shotgun too. Yeah, get in there. Alright, go last. Do you still have your... Yeah, you do have your Ares Predator. What up? What up? Ow. Alright, um... Can I get in there? Yeah, I can right here. I'm going to take my special aim shot. There we go. And then this guy's going to take his special fucking kill you shot. There we go. Go downstairs. Oh shit. It's not. Maybe there isn't another downstairs. We might be fucked. I thought that that was the symbol for, op for go downstairs and go to the next scene, but I guess I shouldn't have pushed that button yet. Oh well, there, yeah, there it is. Alright. 
Gallo, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bend you to our will healing here. I don't wanna die, so you heal me first. And then I'll go in there, and then the rest of you can sort of just chill. I'm gonna, I don't know if I wanna. Yeah, let's try it. Let's just heal up the other people, and then what we'll do is we'll leave him behind for the next turn. That seems pretty solid, yeah. Oh, shit. Did he just die? Holy fuck. Do we have... Can we use it on him? Oh, shit. Um, well, that's not good. End of turn. I have one of those pick-me-up kits, don't I? Yeah, okay. Thank God. All right. What other dumb stuff am I gonna do today? All right, reload the gun. And move in there to go block some fire for a few minutes. You can get in there and go slash up some dudes. Or not. Alright, that was really dumb, and I can't afford another mistake like that again. You can, however, shoot a voyage. You don't have to avoid shooting that doctor in the face. Alright, so then me, I'm gonna go in there. class did not bring any equipment, so okay, we're just gonna chill him over here. And then I have a couple of health kits, I think, so what I'm gonna do is I'll park my ass by him. Then you can use your... Oh, you don't have one either, do you? Captain Troll brought, like, four. Alright, um... Okay, you go over there then. You'll heal her. You're just gonna sit on your ass. Um, okay, so you... Use this better one on you. And then you use your better worse one on her. There we go. Glory for the horde. We're all good. Let's go. What is this though before we leave? Tribute player contextions a personal diary. Some of the video files are missing. Insert in playback video one. Got some cutout chips last week. Tried them out on patients with violent flashbacks, hoping it would at least mellow them out some. It was like night and day. Once the chip was installed, the psychotic break triggers were blocked. Miss Yuskin was gone four days without attacking the staff or herself. Play video six. I was walking to the organ grinders downtown, and there was some kind of event happening at the m Mega Media. They had a puppet there from Maria Mercurial's label with her per person affix chip installed, making her an exact doppelganger. They were using her to hawk some SimSense re-release of the Mercurial live show, but it gave me an idea. The cutouts, the body modifications of my healthy supply of patients, I'm perfectly set up to be a um, Bunraku fixer. I could find a supplier and a per per with for, per for persona fix chips, got the words in this game, I'd sell full service Bunraku, even program behavior trees. Found a buyer for the first Bunraku. So, man in the Barrens offered me 20000 for the female troll I've been modifying. He likes them big, he says. All's left is to arrange delivery. Put me in touch with some more buyers if I'll accommodate special orders. Morons were lives were already over anyway. The least they could do is line your pockets. Alright. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, do that again. Oh, insert and play. Is that the... Yeah. Alright. Um, so... I don't know if I talked about it in the other videos, but when they say Bunraku, that means, uh, typically means like shadow puppets, but in Shadowrun, they actually make human Bunraku. They basically, you can either rent your body or, um, unwillingly, as this guy is doing, and basically they just plug you in and you dance on their strings, um, uh, it's the way that a lot of the the prostitution industry in Shadowrun works. It's basically girls just check out, they plug in a personality of some famous stripper, and off they go, and um, people pay to have sex with them. Or in this case, he seems to be modifying mental patients and 
selling them to people. Which is just more fucking proof that this guy's an asshole and needs to die. But, just in case you were wondering what's up with that. Because otherwise you might be confused. Let's go bring this asshole to justice, shall we? Emerald City Ripper. For you is a medical lab turned torture chamber. The smell of old blood and decayed flesh permeates the room. Gory stains speak of the bodily body's fluids sp with spilled without regard for well-being or hygiene. There are bodies, probably former patients, trapped in hideous machines, enduring horrific experiments. The subjects you can uh, see all appear to be dead. Uh, what subjects you can see all appear dead. Not any that aren't just must wish they were. You've chased Holmes into his lair. Just as his face reveals his ugly soul, so does his safe haven, it would seem. Holmes, Silius, the Emerald City Ripper. The elf is a monster beyond compare, and it's time to end this. I agree. Alright, guys, let's fucking do this thing. Alright. Another intercom crackles at your elbow. One solid blow would offer a few moments of blessed silence, but there's also a rare chance to get a word in with the good doctor. He greets you with more of his chittering laughter. You are a persistent one, a fine specimen indeed. You know how this ends, so let's do this already. Patience, patience, we're not done here yet. One last examination to conduct. Petzl, subdue them. Who the fuck is... Oh, Petzl's probably his fucking troll. Yep, there, I see him over there. Alright, let's get in cover. There he is. Look at that guy. He is a fucking mess. Wait, is that the doctor or is that some other? No, those are some other dudes. All right, we're gonna we're gonna take the, the giant fucking troll out right now. Like that's what's gonna happen. We're gonna switch to full auto and we're gonna annihilate this fucker. Or we're gonna do moderate to light damage to this fucker. Um. So this guy isn't good enough to do full auto. Let's just keep shooting with the shotgun. That's the best we can do. That's the best we can do. I like that critical. All right. Um, hit it and crit it. Let's do a thrust right here. If only it had a different animation. There. Oh shit. All right. Where's Galaglass? Dude, you know what we need you to do? Power bolt. Or yeah. Wait. I actually have to. Power bolt. Yeah! Fuck that guy. Alright. <laughs> Let's just kill some orderlies here and then we're on to the big boss man. There he is! There he is. Okay. Um. What is he doing? Oh, he's aiming. He's aiming. He's aiming. Okay, so there's Dr. Holmes. Um. Let's reload, shall we? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna aim. Shoot that guy. Okay, then, death side. You know what I'm gonna need from you? Similar tactics. Aim and fire. Yeah! Pick that asshole off right away. Then, I like this shotgun. Um, shoot that guy. And then where's Iron Eyes? Shoot right there. Is it Iron Eye or Iron Eyes? It doesn't say. Not important. Keep fighting. Okay, there's that. And I'm really loath to have her advance on the Doctor by herself. Ignores the weapon's AP damage. Minus 15 to hit. Oh, no. Thrust is good. We're gonna do Thrust. Alright, Galaglass. Pull out all the stops, buddy. Fireball! Fireball! Yeah! Be on fire, you sadistic fuck. See how you like plastic surgery from that action. Sorry. 
Um, let's see. Let's move up, and we'll just peg him with one shot. He's hiding in the fucking corner. This dude can't do shit. Well, he already did it. Alright, death side. Can you hit him from the way back there? Yeah, not too bad. Slap, 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 slap. Alright, you're pretty badly. Let's just go. Let's go. Cause some damage. Oh, missed. Missed again. Melee combat in this game just isn't as great as it might should be. Pupum. Pupum. Oh, those are ley lines. That's I should be standing on those. Oh man, he's gonna punch my lady to death. All right, she's getting she's getting backed out of there right now. We're gonna do that. We're gonna put you over here, Chris. You don't have a gun, but I don't want you to die. Um, and me. I know what I'm gonna do. Body. Fuck you. Holmes drops to the ground, the light in his eyes fading fast, but something keeps the shriveled husk of his soul stuck to his mortal coil for a few moments more. This place of broken things. I remake them. She asked me to remake her. And just one more laugh, his glazed eyes rolling towards the workbench. She was playing both of us. Action point? An increased team ability to operate in dangerous situations. Okay. Feeling better. Reads his last. Who the hell is she? Oh, there's some hot sluts in there or something. Um, Holmes workbench, somewhere between coroner slab and medieval torture device. It's decorated in many colors of death, littered with instruments that trade. To one side, there's a leather-bound journal stuffed with uneven pages. To the other is a pock sack, a small screen showing a glowing. Beneath the bench is a rolled sheaf of papers held together with a length of two surgical tubing. Best to get the workspace. The bench was clearly played host to a numerous bodies over its lifetime. It includes limb restraints as well as skeletal traction mechanisms. His table, homes likely to dis dismembered bodies, or quite possibly put them back together. The tackiness of blood suggests it was used relatively recently. Skim the journal. Leafing through the pages, you find a few intelligible entries. Holmes may have not been a real doctor, or may have been a real doctor, or may have not have been a real doctor, but his handwriting certainly fits the stereotype. Stuffed in the last few pages is a copy of Dis disinterment order from the local cemetery with the grave's occupant marked as M Melinda Watts. This is the pocket secretary. Holmes is still logged in, granting you access to his currently loaded files. Prominent among them is a hospital report from a donor program. It lists the organs besides the names and vital statistics of the recipients. Your eye catches Sam Watts' name beside an entry for liver. Also on the list of the Ripter's other known victims, along with several others who may have shared the same fate. A large sum of Nuyen, which can easily be transferred to your account. Oh, I guess I don't get a choice. I guess I take the money. A sheet of paper. Unfurling the large sheet of paper, you discover a diagram of the human female form, rendered to an impressive level of detail. It appears to be the blueprint of, for making Holmes' very own monster. Hey, they're Bunraku. Yep, just like I said. This chap sl slot is still fresh. The open wound pink and wet and lurid. His voice drips innuendo, but his eyes say nobody's home. Well, hello there. Did you come to play? How long have you been here? Of course we're okay. We're ready for a little party. Playing with me. By her name? She's assembled in standard config. A face of a schoolgirl, body of a stripper. Need some thick beer goggles to miss the work she's had done. Okay, can we take these guys with us? Guess not. Wait, person fix chip wiper. Here we go. Can we fix him? Race homes programming. Their eyes focus and their hands raise slowly to chest their head wound. Their fingers come away wet and sticky. Panic twitches at the corners of his mouth as he surveys the room. First you, then the girl, then down to his own body, which is no longer his. Sweet Jesus, what did he do? What am I? 
begins weeping, his body racked in great, unconsolable, cre cre heaving sobs. I'm sorry, buddy. Can I do the girl, too? No, I can't. Well, I guess I did. I'm really sorry, buddy. Better this way than being a meat puppet for the rest of your life. Sure, let's transition. Where are we going? Loose ends. Oh, okay. The ride back to the seamstress's union is quiet compared to the pandemonium left behind at Mercy Mental Hospital. Lone Star squad cars pass you on the road, sirens blaring. No doubt in response to the aftermath of your showdown with the late Dr. Henry Holmes, the Emerald City Ripper, the man who violently repossessed the internal organs of Sam, Jessica's mother, Melinda Watts. Although the killer is dead, his grip on the city is broken. It wasn't clear he was. It was clear he wasn't working al alone. There are loose ends aching to be tied. The taxi turns under Redmond Way, cruising past the now familiar landmarks until the seamstress's union, and all its decadent, seedy glory materializes between swipes of the overworked windshield wipers. Time to evaluate your next move. Jenny Clean is talking talking with Cherry Bomb and Miss Kaboto when you walk up. We're just talking about you, Mac. The Emerald City Ripper. Ironic that you tracked a serial killer to a mental hospital. Jenny Clean told us where you were going, Omei. We've been waiting for you to return. Thought you knew better than that, Johnny. Franz and nods. You're right. Should have kept my mouth shut. I should know better. I have just I have a personal stake in these Ripper murders. We each have our own reasons for wanting the killer found. Sam was a regular here, and his loss has been felt, regardless of his shortcomings. The whole sprawl has been shaken by these killings and, well, the randomness of them. No one knows if they'll be next or what the killer might take from them. I admit, the killings have hampered business as well. I'm sorry, but it's true. doesn't help Sam's body was found right down the street from here. Even my regular customers have been loath to venture out with a killer on the loose. Now tell us, Omei. If you find the person responsible for the Ripper murders? I got, not exactly. I got the bastard who wielded the scalpel, but whoever pulling the strings is still out there. Someone's pulling the strings of a serial killer? It sounds more complicated than I suspected. Oh yeah, the whole thing was a Frankenstein job. The Ripper was harvesting body parts to resemble, reassemble Sam's mother, Melinda. All the victims had transplanted organs, her organs, and the Ripper was taking them back. Three, go silent as the news sinks in. So Sam had an organ transplanted from his mother, and the Ripper killed Sam and all those other people just to reassemble Sam's mother. Looks like it, yeah. Essence, cause and effect in this. Coyote and Jake Armitage just left here to attend Sam's funeral. I'm told there'd be a reinterment ceremony for his mother there as well. Sister invited me to the funeral and the returnment when I met her here. Think Sister Jessica had something to do with it? Hang on. I saw Sam's sister when she was here the other day. She was as corp as they come, but I can't imagine a lady like that behind a series of murders. There's got to be something else going on. It's clear that you must go to the funeral and talk with Jessica Watts, Mac. Yeah, I will, and I'm going to get some goddamn answers. And if I don't get answers, I'll get an AK-47. Wait, wait, wait. Um, before you go, there's something you did not tell us, Mac. Where is the Emirates City Ripper now? decomposing all right we're gonna go to the funeral in one second here I um yeah I guess we're gonna have to do that too I'm gonna go I don't really need anything from downstairs all right seeing as we've had an exciting day let's wrap up right here and um like always We'll hit the last, we'll do the last little bit of overtime here in one more episode. All right.